Okay, here it is, my first ever shake table. I took a design that I found online and uh, didn't have the exact same material, so I used what we had already, including these from the laminator machine. When it runs out, these tubes, instead of throwing them away, we can reuse them. Thank you, Ms. Williams. And the way it works is, uh, we've got rubber bands over here, and as I wiggle this, it rolls on the bottom which then causes the second layer to roll. And then we have the app, um, the Science Journal, Google Science Journal app. And sure enough, when you wiggle, woo, it measures exactly how powerful those vibrations are. And your goal is to keep your tower ah, from falling over. Game over. <laughs> Good luck. I do have the Jello, which is what we have used in the past. But um, I'm remembering how messy it is, um, and it doesn't last very long, and this one's kind of, my fridge isn't quite cold enough. So I think this is an upgrade, definitely. And reminder, uh, the Google Science Journal app looks like this. And it's a little confusing, you want to add a new one. If you're in somebody else's already, you can just back out of that to this page, and then there's a plus sign for a new one. And there's that Pokemon symbol which is the really for the tools. And the X, Y, Z axis is what we're looking at. Uh, that makes it go up and down. We're gonna be going side to side. So I think that's the one, yep, that you want. And you can record what's happening. So you can measure at what point did your tower fall down. You can even put the tower, I think, right here on the screen so you can see the tower and the measurements at the same time. And then when you're done, we stop the recording. And then you can go back and analyze your results. Reminder, your structure needs to be at least five inches tall. So, shoo, doing good there. Uh, five marshmallows and 20 toothpicks. Uh-oh. <laughs> you do need to build it at your own table and then transport it over to the testing station. And it may not stick to the table. And it wasn't too bad moving it over to uh, the shake table here. And wow, a lot going on over here, I know. <laughs> but if you had time to create your seismograph, as opposed to the seismometer, which is the digital version, uh, you can do it all at the same time. Of course, I need help here. And so Hamed's team did a really good job making a quick version of a seismograph. It actually does work, which is excellent. And then here we go. Ah, we can measure to see. Wow, that one's doing a great job. I think maybe the marshmallows are sticking to the iPad that may be an unfair advantage, but you get the idea. So earthquake structure challenge. Good luck.